Hey guys, what's going on? And welcome to this podcast. And no, this is not uh, the weekly hibernation podcast. If you uh, are thinking that, no, 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 no. That that that's still coming tomorrow. We still got a couple of book reviews to do. You know, we're still gonna have some fun tomorrow. No, this is more of a special podcast for the authors out there. Yeah, because I recently did a blog post. And I was recently invited by one of my writer friends, Richard Crew, to do one for him, for his uh, page. Because he, because as he's he been following my Thousand Years War book, book one, hit the top 20 this uh, Monday, this week. And right now it's closing in the top 100 still, so it's still doing doing well. And he was, he wanted to kind of know what were the ways I was. Or what was I doing that was making me succeed? So I decided to do a blog post in the interest of helping out the other independent authors and hopefully to get you guys up to where I am at least, or maybe even better. So with that being said, let's start off. So, so well, first correction, correction. The the blog post is going to say yesterday, July twenty fourth. That's backdated. I should have wrote Monday, July 24th, so because I have recent, I have wrote, written the bar post on Tuesday, the day after, and I wanted to, and and he invited me on Tuesday, but he couldn't actually get the article done until today, so because I see he was uh, busy the past couple of days, so that should be Monday, July 24th, not yesterday, but that's that's a small little thing to fix, but. So start is it's gonna be another book guys. It's gonna be and it's gonna be patience. You're not gonna shoot up in one shot. And if you do, you know, Amazon's gonna suspect you of cheating. So I'm here to make you know there is you know, some ways you can do and get your book out there and improve your book to profile without cheating. To do it the the legal way, to do it the old fashioned and for me the more fun way. One of the best ways to start an author platform is to build an awesome ch- ch- kick butt off the page. However, the trick is, you want to personalize it with your flavor. Make it stand out from the other pages in your genre, whether it's sci-fi, horror, romance, thrillers, political thrillers, uh, non-fiction, you know, you, you name it, fantasy. Well, honestly, you know, it's going to be, it's technically impossible because you know, if you're in the same genre as somebody else, you're gonna bump into pages that are like you because you, because you're gonna be along with with uh, like like minded authors. You know, you're gonna get bump into authors that are like minded, that you guys have the same exact interests, same exact goals, same exact ideas. So it's gonna be, but people are gonna see your personality for what it is if you put the effort in it, if you show it the right way, if you do things the right way. As as a, uh, as seen on my. You know, Facebook page should down some years more book or the down some years more series. But right now, it's got a following of around 302 fans, which is not bad for now. Which is, you know, which is equivalent to 300 people, possible people who get my book. And right now, I've, I've, I've sold more than 300 copies, you know, my time of the book. So, go figure. But, you got your fans, right? Right now, you got your fans on your page. They mic your page. They're looking at it, but 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 that's only half of the battle. The other half of the battle is you gotta make your page interesting. If not, people are gonna lose interest and not head to your page room anymore. Or even worse, they're gonna start unliking your page, and you just lost a fan. So how do you? Well, how so? How do you keep the fans on your page? Well, obviously. Let me add that not every single person who makes your page is gonna be a real fan. They could just be around snooping around and they could just be complete assholes and unlike your page because they never really might have meant it. Or also I may just quick mic by accident. It happens. It's happened to me a few times unfortunately. But the real fans are gonna stick around. As long as they follow these five rules. Number one. Obviously discipline in that you have to be realistic and understand people are not going to see your page every day as they have other authors to follow or they have things to do it's called my folks we all live it so don't beg for attention 
not cool. Don't go away saying, why don't you guys follow me? No, please, guys, help me, you know, no, no, no. Instead, and number two, or another two pet people of mine that you shouldn't do is, don't post by my book every single day unless your book has merit behind it. Like mine, mine has close to 60 reviews, averaging four and a half out of five stars, and people love it. In other words, people know, the people, they know that you want them to buy your book. However, unless your book has great reviews and a good number of them, don't keep repeating that they should buy it. Instead, number three, instead you should convince them by using creative posts and put up some, you know, good content, some cool, you know, glamorous, it doesn't have to be CGI graphics, graphical content, it's more like background content, you know, things that, you know, that they might not have read in the book or may not be in the book, it may be only exclusively, you know, on the Facebook page, that you have to go to the Facebook page if you want to find out this certain information or certain things. So, you know, you know, so, and, and use your blog to your advantage, and if you don't have one, simply, simply put some scenes out there that you might, like, or you personally love writing, you know, get get some pics to show off a scene, describe the characters in the post, scenes, special items that you, you know, that the characters use that you want to just show off to the world. And, and also use the page as a means to show off, you know, your Easter eggs. You know, just, you know, make make it so that, it's like, like I said, if you want the reader to, you know, if that, if that reader wants that extra bit of information that could change their perspective or increase the interest in the story, that they need to visit your page to get these Easter eggs, to get this extra content, these extra goodies. Don't put it all in your book. Obviously, you know, as all about don't tell, show, don't show, you know, don't tell, but show, you know. So, you know, if you visit my page, the Thousand Years War, you know, the Thousand Years War series, book series, you know, I have pictures, bios about the different aspects of my book that can then attract the reader or get an actual reader more interested in finding out about my book. And who knows, if you're good enough with your Easter eggs and your extra content, you could spawn off some cool conspiracy theories about your book. You know, with your diehard fans, they could start spawning off these crazy theories. My, 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 what I did, you know, a couple of days ago, I wrote a, you know, I wrote a theory about the events of after my third book, which is right now the, the last book of my series, but I'm working on continuing it. But if you were to, if you were to read all three books in my series and understand them all for what they are, and read this Easter egg, you would all of a sudden get a whole new understanding or look at it a whole different way. That's the trick. That, that's what separates the good authors, the average authors from the epic, from the great authors, the creative ones, the ones that you want to read. So, number four, when you get a great review, show it off to the world because you know getting reviews can be hard. So when you get one, let it be known. If it's a four or five star one, let it be known to the world that I got this review, and the, and this, and made it known that it is evidence that your book is really worth their money to read. And number five on your Facebook page is do a giveaway once in a while. And I know some of you are saying giveaway. Why should I give away my book? Because you, because instead of taking it as nice revenue, taking as free, take it as free publicity. And if your book is good, that reader will spread the word about your book, and you'll probably get more fans and more sales, and more people are gonna funnel into your book. And, and, and people say you do giveaways often, you know, they're gonna say, no, oh, this guy is active, this guy really wants us to, to read his stuff, this guy is serious about what he's doing. You know, if you, you know, if you got an active page where you do things, you know, every single day or every other day, people are gonna see, you, you're busy, you really care about what you're promoting, you care about the story, you care about the calendar, you're not just writing it just to make money. You're writing it because you really believe in your product. And that's what people want. They want authenticity. They want realism. They want somebody who's really into their work. Now, 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 some more tips. Another thing you could do with Facebook is join Facebook groups that deal with promotion. However, the, the ones you want to aim for are the ones that specialize in your niche or the genre you're writing. For me, example, I joined some great sci-fi groups that specialize, that specialize in sci-fi, fantasy, and video game reads. Since that's why I might too write, and that's my niche. While I do write horror, but unlike Richard Crew, who's into horror 100, I'm not a 
I use it more as a hobby or a side thing, a side, a, a side project, you know, and that's because I'm a, I'm a Resident Evil fan, and I'm like writing about the, like mixing Resident Evil with my story, so, but it's, that's not my main niche, my main niche is sci-fi. So, you know, in, in these groups, you're going to find a lot of like-minded authors, a lot of authors who are similar to you, or maybe even the same. And you and you make a few friends along the way as well, and some of these friends may even purchase your book, as if it's in as well if it's in the same niche and interest group, they'll probably give your book a read. So don't be afraid to socialize. To be fair, sci-fi is rather easy to find. Many groups on sci-fi since it's a, it's it's, a, it's a, an extremely popular genre, perhaps the most popular. But of course, you got subdivisions such as fantasy, cyberpunk. Hard science fiction, soft science fiction, western science fiction, you know. So, you, you know, sometimes you find groups that are more specialized depending on the kind of sci-fi you're into. But there are plenty of general sci-fi fans that will read it, just read about anything sci-fi. But I've seen plenty of horror groups. I'm in a couple of horror groups as well, since I do write horror as well. And romance groups out there. I kind of stay away from those since I don't write romance for, for nothing and I don't really, don't really really romance like that. I read a couple of romance books that were really good but I wouldn't see myself writing romance. So you know, just go out there, be sociable. After all, a book spreads like wildfire. While you're, while, you're, while you're out there talking and showing yourself out there. And remember, this is a, an asterisk. And please remember this as this will be on your quiz tomorrow folks. There will be a there will be a quiz on this tomorrow. Remember, when you're joining groups, do not think of it as making friends and connections. Don't go look th looking there for cash in, because if you go out there just wanting to sell your book and, look and looking for a quick cash in, people are gonna spot it. The members are gonna spot this, gonna spot it like like that. It's gonna be very easy to spot, and trust me. If they see you just going in there for a cash in and you're not really in there to be sociable or, or get into the group for what it is, they're gonna ban you and and they're gonna probably put you in the blackness and warn other groups not to take you in and you just will really a, a golden opportunity to make some new friends and really build up your author platform if you get banned from groups. So don't do it. You, if you join a group, do it the right way. You know, make some friends, be sociable. Don't. Don't go in there looking for sales. Don't go in there with the aspect of saying, see how I can get a hundred sales out of this group. Don't. Get, instead think about, oh, maybe if, if I can make five to ten friends, connections, people who will be generally interested in what I'm writing, and then go from there, then you can start thinking of sales. But don't go in there with a mindset like a salesman because it's not going to work and people are going to spot that right away. And in fact, some groups, sci-fi groups are discussion only they don't and they don't now self-promotion or they only now self-promotion on a certain day or if you contact the, act, the administrators or moderators or under very special circumstances so don't go into groups and start self-promoting yourself without asking you know or without following the procedures what, you, what, what it's supposed to be because people want authenticity they want you to show your personality all right Finally, and not finally, there's a couple of more things I gotta go over, and and that's if SEO, search engine optimization, and all that is good, it's cool, but 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 you can have the best, you know, optimization. Your page could be optimized well, but if it's crap, no one's gonna read it, and they're gonna, and people are gonna not recommend your book to anybody. Here's a bonus. Like if you can get your book to relate to a very popular brand, you will sell more and get more attention simply because people or fans of the of the services or whatever you could, you know, somehow connected to are gonna relate to a pop are gonna relate to that popular brand or movie or video game. For example, my if you read my sci-fi series, I kind of market it to the nerds out there, the video game nerds. You know, so. Well, my horror series is more like a Resident Evil kind of thing. So, I'm not saying you should totally whip off the formula, then you're getting into fan fiction, which is something you want to avoid. Which is not something you don't want to be doing. I mean, get your own style out there and use some enemies from popping up books. 
more recent video games. Try to be sociable with your fans, answering the questions and simply saying hi to them. Especially when your name, when you finally is known, you're just stoning out. So, hope these, the biggest tools will be Facebook, Twitter, and the other website. However, with everything else, the amount and waiting of reviews will be your biggest weapons. So get those reviews and send out those advanced review copies and price your book no to the end to start. So I wish you guys good luck and I hope these tips will help you. I think that will be all guys. Hope you enjoyed it and if you got any questions, comments, please feel free to leave them. This is Angel Medina, signing off.